all coming to Sophie's birthday video. Look at the girl from her tax store. Said, tell Sophie I said happy birthday. Gabby's in the back. Sophie's in the front. It's all about it's Sophie birthday. today. Yep. Welcome to today's video. It is Sophie's birthday video. We're not having her party until Friday. We're not having her party until the weekend uh, because we have plans, you guys. It's going to be a whole weekend of fun for Sophie and then a little bit of fun for Gabby in there too. Actually, Gabby's going to have fun no matter what. But anyways, we're starting our day off with Sophie's special birthday ride. So let's go. Let's do it. Hopefully we're Finn's good. Finn's going to be good because you guys haven't seen the video yet. It's going to go up. I mean, it went up. It'll probably go up tonight about how Sophie changed something and it changed her ride within two and a half years. We've been doing the same stupid stuff over and over and over. Sit down, slow your rise, do this, do that, and nothing has worked. Finn is always going fast. And then she started riding a new horse, Buddy. You guys have seen Buddy. He's a ride or die kind of horse. <laughs> that's how I learned how to ride. That's how so that lesson. Yeah, like, hmm, that's coming up soon too. There he's, you either sit back on that horse or you die. And it's that's how I learn. That's how Sophie learns. You do it. trying to kill me in that lesson. Though. You do it or you die. And Sophie learned to do it. And then she transferred that over to Finn. <laughs> he slowed down right away. Like, that's the thing. When you do the same thing over and over and over and you expect different results, that's dumb. We did it for two and a half years. And it was frustrating and it was hard. But... We did it finally. All in God's time, you guys. Anyway, let's go. We're going to the barn and we'll see you guys there. All right, so we're here at the barn and Gabby can't ride. Taking care of Chino. You got moved? Chino got his stall moved. Hi, buddy. Is he getting his salt lick and stuff and his stuff? This is all Chino's stuff. I gotta find out. I think Chino's just in a different stall because that's how they have to clean when like the owner works. So sometimes he just, ah. Uh, Sometimes he just throws them in a different stall so he can clean out his stall. Throws them in a clean stall, cleans out his stall. And we'll Wait, just... Mom, we're here to breakfast. Oh, okay. All right, we're late. We're late on Sophie's birthday. We're late! I have a free pass. It's my birthday. Sophie has a free pass. Oh, Fiona feels the same way. Anyway, Gabby, Gabby's not riding. She's going to... I have a feeling they're in the trees. I have a feeling that they're somewhere far. You know when Chino's hurt? Because... He Finn. stands right next to a tree. Yeah. He's like, I'm just a tree. She know, she knows so nice and gentle, but so, so uh, lazy. <laughs> he's such a lazy boy, and I don't mean necessarily in when riding, but he's. Oh no. I need to be that kind of mom that's like, go get your horse, go. I'll wait here and sit on my butt, lean against a tree. I need to be more like Chino. We see him. I don't know if you guys can see him. Be nice if he came when she called. Because it is such a long walk. But Finn again. Way down there. Oh, wait a minute. Where is he? See? He's turning his head. I think he's coming. So the lady that has to feed these horses, she comes, stands at the gate, calls them, and then this is what happens. She actually, look it. She... Don't come this way. Go that way. Follow the herd. Follow the herd. Follow the herd. Oh my gosh. What a dumb horse. <laughs> All right. So maybe it's just those ones. Those three. But that's what we need to do. Stand at the gate. Scream our heads off. Oh, they're running now. Okay. So every single horse in the whole paddock is coming except for Sophie and Finn. All coming. Just little Sophie. No Finn. It's her birthday. Let her go first. <laughs> oh, there she is. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Come on, hurry up. We gotta go. We gotta go. We're late. The path is all blocked by a hundred horses. Sophie said that Finn made her do the walk of shame all the way to him. <laughs> I guess it's shameful when your horse doesn't come when he sees you. Remember when they were at home? He always came. All right, so Sophie, you have to go fast. Get groomed up. Chino's thing burst so he might not be lame now i just gotta re read the instructions my vet emails me the, the directions of what to do when he wants to keep it covered for like a few days so i'm gonna read that figure out what i have to do why do you have to stand on the end of the bucket i can't wait to see it i can't wait to see it a lot of plans today like so many things to do i forgot the, the farrier's oh supposed to be coming it's like, all the way back. <laughs> it's like 
Help! Help! Not this again! Alright, so um, we just have to cover it. Cover the thing. I can't wait to show you guys. I can't wait to see the absolute myself. I want to see it, dude. Alright. What? It's burst? Wait, where is it? Do you even see it? I don't even see it. I saw not. I see nothing. It's not burst. It's gone from the water, but it burst like right about here. Oh, it needs to burst. See, look. A, it moves more. It needs to burst a whole lot more. I think we're gonna have well, to. Well, it burst, so now we just have to bandage it. Um, yeah, wet it again. Yeah, it. yeah. It bursts. Oh, okay. Well, that's not very exciting. I thought it would be like. No, I could, I could see all the stuff coming out of it. I thought it would be like way more cool, like guts and blood. I see some stuff coming out. Yeah, you should push it and see if you can get it to come out. Where did I put my purse? Oh, man, it was a crazy day. The farrier was supposed to come today and he didn't message me and say, hey, yeah, I have a time for you. So now, I don't know if the farrier is coming. Chino has no shoes on because the vet took off the shoe. And yeah, so that's happening. All that. Day in the life of a horse owner, you guys, never ever ends. But right now, we are about to show Fiona how Sophie nailed life and Finn. So now that we've been bragging, he's gonna be a brat. They always make a liar out of us. Oh no, she's still gonna prove it. She can do it, but he's been wanting to like really stretch his head down lately. Okay, so Sophie had a lesson, her trick. Just sitting back, she's learning to like do that better, so she's gonna be exaggerating it for a little while. And she really needs to watch the lesson video so that she can see that she doesn't look like she's exaggerating it. So, uh, we're gonna race them home again if you watch the last video. I have to make everything into a race. They're gonna try and beat us home, but today we're gonna beat them because we're gonna go the way that they went. <laughs> And you're gonna have coffee. And look, literally left me like no room to get through. Wait, Gabby, you have to run back in. Why? All right. All right. See you, loser. <laughs> <laughs> We're leaving. All right, there will be no more racing from this girl. We almost crashed. We literally almost crashed. And it wasn't because we were racing. I was slowing down and to go across the turn, to go onto a turn. And as we went around the turn or started to go around the turn, my foot slid right off the gas pedal or off the brake pedal. My foot slid off the brake pedal because my shoes are slippery. Oh my gosh, that's the first time that's ever happened to me. But I saved us. Thank God there was no other car there. We would have been dead. Right, Sophie? Yeah. But yeah, I saved us. And I'm never wearing these boots again to drive because my foot just totally slid right off the gas, off the brake pedal. All right, we won. We won this time. He says he let us win because it's Sophie's birthday. So yeah, so hopefully we just really won. Is a package for me? No. It's for dad? Yeah. Oh, one of these is for you. Oh, oh, yeah. oh there he is. Oh, they got here. We beat them. Hey guys, we are here at the tax shop. We get some stuff, especially bet wrap, because we ran out of it. Ran out of bet wrap, and Sophie wants to pick the bet wrap, right? Yeah. Well, oh, where's my mask? Oh. Almost forgot my mask again. Oh, look at that blanket. How about that blanket for Finn? Yeah, that blanket for Finn. What? You want that blanket? It's a rain. That's what? It's a rain. Oh, it's not even insulated. Mm, nice. Happy birthday. Thanks. All right, we need vet wrap, so we're gonna get some vet wrap. How much? Well, we're gonna need a bunch. So get some pink. Get a couple pinks. And a couple blue. And get maybe two more blue. There we go. And then we need this big bucket here. So we are seeing. And this is. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. So you're gonna buy this as your birthday present, money? No. All right, you guys. We. Look, that was on the wrong side. Oh, I'm sorry. We have Sophie's presents over there. We have them all wrapped. Gabby and I wrapped them. We numbered okay, them. First of all, do you want to hear the story? Tell us we the were story. We're walking up from the bar, and Sophie's like, "I'll give you a tootsie roll if you tell me what one of my presents were." Oh. Dad got 
water like so I lied and I'm like yeah yeah he did cuz <laughs> she's yeah, like <laughs> she wins. Basically, I let Sophie pick out a lot of presents. I bought her everything that she wanted for her birthday, and then I bought her some things that I really wanted for her birthday. Um, so one of the things that she wanted, I didn't wrap up, was a toy for her dog. Wait, let me take this and her dog down. knows. <laughs> Molly Ruby, go lay down. That is the best birthday <laughs> present ever. So this is number one, and it's from Gabby. I know what it is. Oh, is it from Gabby? It's the book. It's a book that she wanted. It's from the oh, same person who wrote the book Wonder, and it's called Pony, and it looks really good. And the other dogs are like, "What about my birthday? What about they me?" All want my fries. <laughs> they all want Gabby's fries. Right. We have McDonald's for Sophie's birthday. Yeah. All right, we are already on to number two. This is something that Sophie wanted so bad. Oh no, this is not. This is also from Gabby. You don't have. Something she doesn't have. I don't even know what this is. I don't have anything. Oh, open it. Just so you know, Gabby uses a whole heck of a lot of tape. Oh, I've seen these. Oh, I wanted that. I was gonna order that. I've seen it too. It's I a fidget it toy. Oh, I've been seeing it and seeing it and seeing it. I wanted to buy that too. I don't know what to do with it. Here, give me the box. You move the thing back and forth and you switch the beads. Yeah, I think I think that would be good for Laura. What? So it's this IQ ball. You guys have seen it on Instagram, right? All right, let me see it. I, I want to show them. So basically, you, you like have it? to turn this. Yes. Well, so turn this. Thank you. I don't know. Okay, in the video, it makes it look... Oh, see how I did that? I put it to blue. And then turn this one. <gasps> to blue, hey, and then so you don't have that. I don't even Can know I how to do it, but it looks way cooler than I in the video. I looked something on my phone that said that. I looked up happy birthday Sophie, and that's not my handwriting, but it's for the happy birthday. Oh, Gabby wrote, Gabby <laughs> decorated this and, it. and traced it. It's gorgeous. I the horse and it. the star. All right, so this is from Laura. This is from Mom. Yeah, he is. So Sophie started a jewelry making business and she wanted these Heishi beads. I think they're called. They're, they make specific bracelets. They look like that. And uh, more stretchy string. And more stretchy string for her bracelets. I gotta do this one. All right, so. I had a design, but then the this is from dad. This is from dad, right? I love wrapping paper yeah. that's made special. You might but not you know, like it. But you know what it is because I asked you about it. Oh, that thing. The game. Let's see it. Don't open it. I won't. So it's a face change Rubik's Cube game. Oh, that's cool. She'll like this. It's for 36 months and up. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a fidget kind of game. Sophie will like it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what, when is that the next one in the numbers? Did you look five, at the numbers? Five. Okay, number five. I just wrapped that one so I know what it is. I know what they all are. It's a box. It's a box. Gabby, did you Seven. figure out how to open this by yourself? I put it all in there. So all in that box is a bunch of, like there's a couple of treats, there's a bunch of stuff, <laughs> some glue, and some all the it. stuff she needs for her jewelry I making business that she's stuff. trying to do. I need, I need more of these bags. Yeah. So there's some tags and she's going to make thank you letter, like thank you tags and all that kind of stuff on there. So that, and the box is also something that she can use for her bead stuff. So what number is this? Six? Six. All right. Cool. Gabby, which is you? Yeah, yes. If it had too much tape is oh, I Gabby. I think this is something that Sophie really wanted. Oh yeah, it is. I, I guess right. We're good. Ooh. So that's the new one. That's the number 11. Yeah, Did you want blue? I said that I was and we thought they only came in black, but it actually came in blue. So did you want the blue? Yes. So uh, this is what she wanted. She had the seven before, but now she wants the in oh, yeah, Instax Mini 11. Apparently this one's better because you can turn off the flash and you can take like, it has more settings. You can adjust okay. it better. Oh, it's the film stuff film for the camera oh it's a case it's more than a case 
Scrolling now. So it's a case for the camera. It has stickers to decorate the pictures, oh. and it has a little photo album. Lay down. Oh, cool. And a wrist strap so down. that your camera can be safe. All right, so this is something that I wanted to get Sophie. She wanted oh, the camera. I didn't, I didn't know I could buy stuff for myself. <laughs> I wanted this for Sophie. So this is the selfie compact printer. It prints four by sixes. I've had one of these before and I wanted her to be able to print her pictures like actual pictures. And she wanted the camera and then I couldn't decide and so she's gonna try both. And that is paper and more ink for it. Thank you. So that is her new camera and that's what she wanted. And then she got all the other stuff just for fun. Um, do you like the case? Yeah. It has a wrist strap too. That looks like it's, it's not a wrist that. strap. It's a shoulder strap. strap. Uh, for the camera, I think there's a wrist strap too. You can adjust it. Thank you, everybody. You're welcome. And thank you to you guys for all the birthday birthday wishes. Hi guys, we're here at the barn. When you have a lame horse, you can't just let it have stall rest all day. You have to come back and forth and back and forth and walk it and walk it a little bit get some little exercise you can't just leave it in a stall all day so that's why we're here to walk it on some soft ground and it's gonna be the arena that's soft also I'm putting this vet wrap in the barn so we have it here it slid up so we do we have to fix it I don't know with the rebandage maybe He's still walking funny. Yeah, he's still covering the area, but we're good. But you know, you got like crap all over his foot. But you know, nice flashy pink vet wrap. So we're just walking him around, you know. You know, getting a little bit of exercise. You can't sit in his stall all night. Or all day. So you're pretty much coming like two or three times a day. And that sucks because that's a lot of money in gas coming back and forth all the time. But it's got to get done. I know what you could use for Halloween. What? Bubble wrap. It's gonna be a bubble wrap. It's gonna be a package. <laughs> gonna be a horse that gets hurt so much that he just needs to be wrapped in bubble wrap all the time. It's what you do. He could be a bubble horse. We can get a big bubble for him. You know those kids you put in the big bubbles? We put a big horse in a big bubble. <laughs> I probably would be scared of it. You set my wheels in motion. I'm going crazy for you. Chino stays in a stall all the time. His back feet stock up and get all like thick and yeah. So he needs to walk around all the time. So that's why we're out here walking him. It's what you're doing, making me feel like I'm falling. I don't know what you're doing anymore. He's bored. He's going in circles. He's like, start walking into me. 
Doesn't want to go in circles anymore. Maybe he's done walking. He probably does on a roll. He probably wants to roll. Aww, he doesn't want to do nothing. All right, we're done. I don't know if he's going to be able to get up. What? Doesn't he lay down in the stall? I don't know. What's the matter, Chino? Wants to eat some grass? I need some grass. All right, let's put him away. Well, that's it for today's video. Hey, we will see you tomorrow. We're just gonna pick his feet quickly after we put him in the stall. So that's it. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. All night trying to figure you out. I just want to make you smile. Hold your hand in my hand. Looking at the sunset, man, you're looking good. I wanna kiss you before the sun goes down It's what you do when making me feel like I'm falling Alright, we decided to change his bandage again um, So we're gonna re-bandage that up Now we're really done for real So have a good night Bye <laughs> Say bye Chino Bye Oops, hope you feel better, bye Don't you know that you're